Austria is world champion in paper recycling. Already 9 out of 10 newspapers and 9 out of 10 cardboard boxes are made from recycled paper. Which is great because it shows how many people here are ready to do something to protect the environment. What most people don't know, however, is that even in the recycling process, lots of resources are still lost. Because only the pulp can really be recycled, which is about 60% of the total volume. Up to 40%, mainly ink and filler material, is separated from the pulp and is left over after the recycling process as more or less poisonous sludge. This poses the question whether it's really environmentally friendly when, of any product, only 60% is really suited to recycling. Since the beginning of the industrial age, we produce things which end their lifespan on a rubbish dump. The motto is, take, make, waste. But if more and more people use more and more products, then eventually we will run out of the raw materials needed to make new products. Already today, we consume more resources each year than the Earth can regenerate. So simply consume less? Unfortunately, no. In that way, we can at the most delay the depletion of our resources, not prevent it. We would then only be driving more slowly, but still in the wrong direction. It's about taking the right turning, because damaging behavior patterns do not become positive or useful if one does them less. But that is exactly what the issue is today, to design products so that they are useful and not merely less damaging. The most beautiful examples of this are provided by nature. A cherry tree produces endless blossoms. Once the cherry blossom season is over, the petals fall to the ground, where they do not become rubbish heaps but flow back as nutriment into the cycle of nature. All resources remain intact and can be used again and again. The cradle-to-cradle -cradle design principle works exactly the same way. The goal is to lead more and more materials into cycles. For this, products must be conceived from the start in such a way that, at the end of their life cycles, they can flow back into biological or technical cycles. In the meantime, many products have been reinvented specifically for this. From televisions to sofa covers and carpets, to shampoo, t-shirts and toilet paper. New to this circle are cradle-to-cradle -cradle printing products, for which all constituent materials have been examined for environmental or health risk factors and, if necessary, replaced. And now, paper, inks and additional materials are manufactured so that complete recycling is finally possible. Now, not just the pulp can return to the cycle. In the future, even the sewage sludge may be used as fertilizer or for humus generation. And if this humus does not go straight onto a farmer's field, then maybe the trees will grow from it, which will then provide pulp for new paper. Cradle-to-cradle -cradle printing products could even be directly composted, and when burnt, the ash is good for the vegetable garden. With Cradle to Cradle, we can close the cycle. And now, with Googler, you too can print as nature would print. Off we go. Let's make an end to the destruction of resources. Let's begin the next printing revolution together.